Hey guys, today's video is a day in the life voiceover edition. So my day begins at 7.30am when my alarm goes off. I get up and I try to make my bed every day, but in the interest of honesty, I'm going to be real right now. Usually I don't do it, I only do it if I remember and I have to do it later if I forget. But I try to every day first thing in the morning. Once I've done that, I head outside and do the horses. Here's Dan looking very cute and waiting expectantly for his breakfast. Once I'd mixed up all the feeds, I went and gave them to the very hungry horses who were all waiting patiently at the gates for them. Johnny has to have his far away from Rocco because Rocco gets a bit jealous and because Johnny's such a puppy, he just lets Rocco take his food. So that's why I'm walking up the side of the field. Here I am looking very tired. Before I head in, I make sure to give Dan his morning hay because he's eaten all his from last night and give him some hugs. I always love giving Dan hugs in the morning. Once it's all done, I head inside to have my breakfast. My dad had actually cooked up a fried breakfast for this morning, which was really nice of him. So I ate that and then I headed up to my room and got changed into my riding clothes, ready for the day. I had a bit of time to kill before I needed to head outside, so I sat down on my bed and edited an old YouTube video. Then I went to my bathroom, washed my face and did my makeup ready for the day. I'm actually filming two YouTube videos this day, which is why I did my makeup. Usually I don't do it. Here I am dragging some boxes outside, which we'll see more of later. It was quite a task, they were really heavy and I didn't want to make two trips. I wanted to just do it in one trip, but I did it, so that was all good. Once I was at the yard, I got Bella in and here she is investigating those said boxes. I took her rug off, gave her a bit of a groom, picked out her feet, just made her feel nice and comfortable because as you'll learn more later, she's not in work at the moment. So just wanted to make sure she still got some attention. Going past as loud as it can go. Ah! Hey guys, quick break in the video to do an unboxing of these products which have been sent to me by Kentucky Horseware, who have kindly sponsored this video. So we're going to quickly unbox them and I'll be wearing them in the video so you can see what they look like um, when they're on. First of all, we have this rug neck. I think you can guess what else is going to be in here considering the rug neck. Here is that rug. So I chose the turn out 160 grams all weather one. This is going to be for Barry, so when she goes back out, I'll put this back on her. Next we have this quarter rug. So I really like quarter rugs because I have to ride a lot after school and it can be really cold and horrible and I just find just having a nice quarter rug to protect them. This is actually all weather, so it's waterproof as well. Just really nice to keep them warm, keep them dry. Just makes it all a bit of a nice experience for them. Next we have this stunning half pad. I actually don't usually ride in half pads, but when they told me they had these and we had a look at them, I really thought it'd be nice to give it a go because they look so smart, don't you think? Like with the saddle pad, they just look so smart. Also, they just make it a little bit more comfortable for the horse. Half pads definitely aren't necessary, like you don't have to wear them, especially if your saddle fits well, you really shouldn't need to wear them at all. But just for that extra little bit of support and comfort, they're great. If you want to be providing your horse with that, then these are really nice. To go with the half pad, we have this stunning saddle pad. Now that is a very nice quality saddle pad. I'm quite specific about the saddle pads I use. They have to be very nice and comfortable and padded. And I like the fluff on the front of near the, near the weather. Only the best for you. <laughs> Next we have the turnout boots. So we have front and back. This is gonna be for Bella Bear because she's currently turned away for a bit. Just to be a horse in the field and to chill out, come back better next year. So she'll be wearing these because she's basically out 24 seven bar coming in for like a groom like I've given her today. So these would be really nice for her. They've got sheepskin on them and they're waterproof again. So really nice, nice and breathable. Gonna keep her, look after her little legs when she's out in the field. Hopefully not when it's too muddy because that when he's getting all muddy, huh? Can we like these? Oh, she's like, help. The next one that we have is this beautiful halter. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. Bella, how comfortable are you going to be in that? It is so soft, you guys. I wish I could show you how soft that is. Wow, you're going to look beautiful, Bear. This is going to be perfect when we go out to shows. She's going to be so comfy. 
And finally, we have this fly veil. I actually started using fly veils on Bella before she went away for winter. She can be quite sensitive, especially she's so young still, like with the large crowds when we're out venting. And this is actually a soundless one, so it blocks sound, which is really good, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Vince Belly is actually not in work at the moment. I'm going to be using it with Johnny today. So it's gonna be nice to try these out on John. I'm just looking at the saddle pad now and it's lined with brown and he has just got a brown saddle from Albion. And most of my saddle pads have some kind of variation of black on them. So it's gonna be really nice to have one that I can use with him, which matches his brown saddle because it's got the brown lining. Enough of me speaking. Thanks so much Kentucky Horsewear for sending me these products and for sponsoring this video. Um, I'm really excited to be working with you guys. These products are such high quality and I can't wait to try them out. Also make sure you check out the giveaway which is on my Instagram. You can actually win one of these head collars as well as some turnout boots for yourself. So go check that out and be sure to enter. So yeah, that's enough. That's the video. I'm gonna put Belly out. I'm gonna put her out in her rug. Not the boots because it is so muddy at the moment. I'd like to keep them clean for a bit as long as I can, at least until it's not literally a flood out there. We've had a particularly wet week. So she can have her rug on and yeah, back to the video. Okay, back to me now. So I put on Bella's new head collar from Kentucky, which I have to say is so nice and Bella seemed to absolutely love it. It makes her look really smart as well. So I put that on and we headed out to field. So Obviously before she actually went out in the field, we had to put on her new rug as well from Kentucky. This rug is possibly the nicest rug I have ever tried. It's so fluffy and as you can see, the neck is full of fluff. If that isn't the nicest rug we've ever seen. Here she is looking very smart in her new rug. When I got back to the yard, I had to clear up a bit because I'd made a bit of a mess when filming that first video and then I got on to filming the second video, which is actually now live on my channel. My mum was amazing and did all the poo picking for me, which helped me out so I could go in and have some lunch, add some leftover pizza. This is really making me crave pizza right now. Once I'd eaten my lunch, I headed back outside to ride the horses. First of all, we had Johnny and I was going to be jumping Johnny this day, trying out the Kentucky Horseware products. He's so cute. Here he is looking adorable, as always. Couldn't resist giving him a hug. So I took off his rug, gave him a groom, picked out his feet, all that stuff, just to make sure he was really comfortable when I put his tack on. He was so dirty this day. Actually, all of them were so dirty. So I just gave him a nice brush down put on his boots, put on my boots. These boots are from Aria and they're new and absolutely love them. And then here we are putting on his new Kentucky Horsewear saddle pad. I absolutely love this pad. I think it's so smart and the quality is second to none. I really like the lining with the brown. I've actually tried it on Bella since this video because she's now back in work and it looks so nice with her coat. I think the fluff around the withers is a really great touch as well because it just makes it that extra bit comfortable. Then I put on the quarter rug as well as there was a slight drizzle and I just wanted to keep them dry before we started jumping and we headed out to the field. As you can see, Johnny's starting to get much more balanced and collected now, especially in his canter. It's something I've worked really hard on, being able to get him back to me and get him listening because sometimes he loses his concentration, especially in big open spaces. So I was really pleased with him this day. This line here was a real test of how much he was listening to me because as you can see, he got a big jump into the first fence, which meant he really had to come back to me to be able to get the line from the second to the third fence. Once I finished riding Johnny, I took his 
tack off, gave him a bit of a wipe down and then put on his dry rug to help him dry off. He was really sweaty, he's quite unfit at this point. I have since clipped him as he was finding it quite a lot of work to keep going with all that extra fluff on him. Then it was on to Rocco. So today we are going to be schooling Rocco and he's just come back into work after having a little bit of time off just because he's a baby still and we want to make sure we're not overworking him or rushing him or anything. Here he is with all his smart tack on, looking very grown up. And oh my gosh, Rocco was absolutely amazing this day. He really grew up and was just so good, worked so hard and he looks amazing. I've left the videos quite unedited so you can kind of see how it is without me editing out any of the bad parts. As you can see, he's still a little bit inconsistent in the contact at times, but overall he worked amazingly and has come on so much recently. As you can see, I was pretty chuffed with him, so he got lots of pats, and then once he was all walked off, I took him back to the stables, and my mum actually turned him back out, put his rug back on, picked out his feet, all of that. So I went and got in Dan, who I was gonna be taking on a hack this day. It was actually starting to get dark at this point, it was about 3pm and of course Dan had done his very best to get himself looking as dirty as possible. So I spent the next 20 minutes trying to get him looking presentable. Did it work? You tell me in the comments. So I hopped on and then we went on a short hack. Dan's actually not in work at the time I'm filming this voiceover. He is just struggling a little bit with winter, which is why you probably won't see him in any videos for a bit. But when I filmed this, he was still doing some light hacking and he was really enjoying it, still full of life. As you can see in these next videos, we enjoyed a bit of a canter. And once we finished the canter, as you'll see in a minute, he was full of beans. And I think we must've jogged the entire way home. Once we had finished our brisk walk home, I put back on Dan's rug and then put on Johnny's rug and put them both out in the field. Here they are looking very cute. Look at those faces. And then I headed into the feed room, mixed up their feeds and gave them them for the night. Next, it was time to do all of those little jobs around the yard, such as remaking the sugar beet, filling up any of the waters, filling up any hay nets, turning on the electric fence and mucking out. Then it was time for me to go inside and get on with my jobs. First thing I did was answer some emails and get myself sorted for the next few weeks. I have quite a few fun collaborations coming up with different companies, so I wanted to make sure I was all ready for that. And then I got on with my school A-level maths homework. And let me tell you, this was tricky stuff. I spent a long time on this trying to get my homework done. Luckily, I got it all done. But as you can see by the next clip, I was pretty stressed out about it. So I decided to play my guitar. Playing my guitar is a really good stress reliever for me. It's something I picked up in the first lockdown and I've kind of stuck with it as it really helps me to just relax and chill out and forget everything else that's going on. After I was sufficiently de-stressed, I packed my bag, ready for school the next day, put away some clothes and then headed to my bathroom to take off my makeup. We were still in school at this point. We're not anymore, I'm now homeschooling, but that's why I packed my bag. After I took off my makeup, I had a shower. Once I was out of the shower, I got into some comfy clothes and headed downstairs to have Sunday dinner with my family. Then I went to the living room and chilled out by myself for a bit by watching one of my favorite series, which is Unsolved Mysteries. It does scare me a bit though, as you can see by this clip. Once that was all done, headed back up to my room, washed my face, got myself all ready for bed by brushing my teeth and everything. Then I went to my bed and chilled out basically for a bit. Went on my phone, scrolled for Instagram, 
right before I go to sleep, I always make sure to read my Kindle as I find it really does help me sleep. And then that's basically the end of my day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you again to Kentucky Horseware for sponsoring this video. All the products were absolutely amazing and I really recommend checking them out.